Hello everyone, this is Deathproof and we're gonna play Marvel Future Fight. So guys, in today's video we're gonna showcase the one of the new characters and new uniform I already showcased as level 60 and that's my girl Silk here with her summer uniform and uh, in yesterday's stream in Twitch, uh, Israel and Venusian uh, got me with, uh, you know, push me, pushing me into going and make her uh, Gears 25. I did it, but uh, I was lacking the materials and I was having trouble to awaken full and totally because I was missing some Black Antimatter and some Nerdstones of Chaos, but uh, you know, I managed to pull out some more resources from the daily quest and now I'm ready to press the button. And I'm gonna drop the video here just to for you uh, to see how unlucky I was with the uh, hair gears and after we're gonna continue and uh, participate in some content. I'm letting you see the video first and I'm coming back to press the button for... Let's go to see how many materials we're gonna spend here and if 3687 black anti-motor are enough uh, one at let's go let's go oh nine it's really bad 13 that's the worst roll ever I spent it 1,600 black antimatter for that. That was the worst roll I've ever seen. Let's go for the next one. Again, 9, 8, 16, the third one. What's wrong? 15 it's nice and 16 it's nice. Okay, okay, let's calm down. That's nice numbers there. <sighs> Okay, guys. Oh, that's nice. Two, one, nice numbers, you know. Single digits. 14 for fourth, 15, nice. Yes, yes. Feels like uh, I didn't spend a lot. Let's see my last. Let's see my last here. 2, 10, 13, 14, 24, mm, that 24 hurt a bit, but how many, how many do I end up spending there, let's see, I had 3,600, so 3,100 3, black anti-motor, and I had 2,600 and 1,500 essence of dimension. And top to being nice, I guess. <sighs> Thank you, guys. You were lucky enough. You know, you make me have luck. The first was totally disaster. But after the first, everything was nice. Okay, I can do it for sure. Still looks great. I forget about it. I forget about it, guys. Why well, you didn't tell me? We can't do that. Yes. <laughs> yes. We need some more nor stones. Oh my god. It's only the last one? Yes. Okay. Sorry, I and I was having really, uh, you know, I uh, spent at least in the first gear it was like thirty and uh, twenty five, and it was too expensive for me. That's why I was out of materials. But uh, let's go and finish our job here and do here totally, completely awakened, transcended, and let's see the stats, the stat boosts you're gonna get. And that's like, uh, basically, I don't want to count at the moment. I just woke up and have drink a bit of coffee. So let let it calculate by itself. Dun -dun! 
yeah it's 7708 HP and almost 9000 physical attack that's really good bo boost and here defense didn't went up so much but uh, it's okay you don't really need the defense because you're healing from your fifth skill so let's go and see here in action I'm gonna show you the build I've got on here basically first of all oh I didn't uh, share to flex to my alliance mates <laughs> but uh, you can see here stats are pretty much capped except 7% uh, of uh, her uh, how it's called her critical rate her, her uniform it's legendary and I'm missing Iceman I'm not gonna get him and I got this too I should uh, swap this one, I guess, into something useful. Uh, yes, HP is more useful than all the others. So let's go and see. First of all, uh, let's compare him with yourself as level 60. And let's go to Proxima stage 99 with, uh, let's say, the same team up. Yes. That's the same team up I used last time. Let's go with Thought Strikers again. And let's see here. Easy rotation. Here rotation it's 3 cancel 4 cancel 5. And when you have your your awakened skill, canceling 5 into 6. You want to wait a bit for the fourth skill. And of course you need to be real close to the boss because here fifth skill is uh, got less range than the other skills, so you hope you won't all the time be close to the boss. So let's go close to here and do that, that, that. You saw there I couldn't cancel my fifth skill because the boss jumped around and it was uh, away from me. That's, that was my bad. Again here, you saw there, okay. I did some wrong and bad brocks, but you can see the damage is totally there. And yes, you can see I can't press the fifth skill after I'm doing the, the fourth skill. So you want to be real close. And I'm doing that a lot lately. You know, I'm uh, saying to you to do something and I'm not doing it myself. Here seems like the proc going great and you saw the birds flying there and just to okay that's really nice 50 seconds until the you know until the sixth bar so in 50 seconds we did that amount of damage to see how good she is we could go and swap this team for our guy falcon to because he's similar, you know, you want to do 3 cancel 4, cancel 5, and he's tier 3. Of course, he don't got the awaken, but uh, I got really rusty uh, awakens. I mean, I got really rusty rotation with uh, here, with Silk. So, let's see here with Falcon, and he got a CTP of energy. Just to understand the value of Silk. And of course, Falcon is one of the best, but uh, you you know what? You want to give your crystals and your materials in something you you want to invest and have uh, value, you know. And here you can see he is doing the same amount of damage in like 20 seconds faster. But of course, you have to consider also that uh, my boy Falcon got a CDP of energy and she had a proc with 140, 140 proc. So, yes, she is good, but she is not good, better than uh, Mr. Captain America here. Of course, he got the energy, but he got pretty much the same build with here, you know, 5 star rules, 6 star rules, max. So that's why I did a Proxima comparison just for him to see. And I'm gonna go toe to toe uh, also in Null and Mephisto. I'm gonna use their own leadership and stage 9 at the moment. So let's see a team that it's not really useful for anyone. Okay, there is no team like that. So let's go and gather some goofy guys here and there okay let's go first where is he 
Yes, the real good and fair comparison basically for here, it's comparing here with Gwenpol. For Proxima and for now, because she's also an Awakened character, she also needs the uniform and Falcon is more expensive and he's doing more damage for sure. He is like a meta for World Boss Legend, uh, World Boss Legend speed types. Falcon, so... I'm gonna test here with uh, Gwenom. I got at Gwenom 180 proc obelisk just to be sure that uh, the comparison gonna be close enough. Okay, I'm not sure why, but my fourth skill and my fifth skill didn't work there. Let's give it another shot. To be fair with here, you know. Seems a bit off there. Let's go. Let's stay here. Do that. Do that. And yes, I think I procced earlier. I shouldn't wait for the fourth skill so much. And it's kind of tough to proc on. Yes, look at that. The fifth skill did more damage with a simple pro. You know, with uh, without the awaken rotation. Okay, one guy strike there. It didn't make me the favor. Let's see now. Let's see here. Yes, you want to wait for half a second in the fourth skill, or else you're getting your skills. You know, you're getting your proc into the fourth skill. You want to do it, but uh, not to wait uh, too much, you know, like that. Half second, nanosecond, or whatever the seconds you can say. Okay, let's go. Oh, I missed proc there on the fourth skill, or it was really late on the, four, on the, on the fifth skill. Okay, let's wait here, stay out, let's go. Okay, that's late. But at least you can see the damage is there. She can pull out 1 minute and 15 seconds. And with my rusty rotations and my rusty, you know, all these rusty rotations there. It's nice. 1 minute and 15 seconds, it's really nice. And let's go to the next character. I'm gonna compare. First was Falcon. Falcon seems to work better. But uh, just to know the amount of damage she's doing, let's go here. Basically, let me show you what Gwen, Spider Gwen got. She got 180 proc and she got her uniform Mythic. She even got... Oh! How I swap there? She got no, she got no Odin's blessing, but uh, you know she's only missing the critical rate also, and she's got similar uh, rotation as uh, here, you know, with the Waken skill and stuff. So let me show you what she is capable of. Here rotation is kind of weird, you know, with Gwenom, you can use like two rotations or, you know, you can stay here, wait and go for the Waken and yes, that's really nice. Or you can do that and that and wait a bit and proc on the fourth skill. So the rotations with uh, Spider Gwen, Gwenom is uh, like fifth waiting a bit and go to proc into the fourth skill every time or proc on the waken skill so it's kind of similar with uh, our girl silk you know you're proccing in the sixth skill or in the fifth skill and here you're proccing into the fourth skill or into the waken skill and the third skill it's the buff the accumulation buff you're getting so you want to use it before all the damage skills so you're doing fifth skill waiting a bit and go straight for the fourth skill but you can see there the damage it's not there silk is way better as a female speed type character and spider character you know we love spider characters I love spider characters I love spider-man it's a real bummer that spider-man is the worst character into the game and there is so many spider-verse characters that they are better you know but uh, I would spend my materials to build any 
spider character for you know for this game i've built you know carnage venom uh, Null, and i love them i i've i've got spider-man also you know um, tier 3 i didn't build him i i took the gift there in the into the first uh, giveaway of uh, net barble into the 4 year anniversary i think but you can see, she can't handle it. She is not uh, that clean as uh, Silk. Silk can do it easily. And she had 1 minute and 15 seconds with no build at all. 108 and 40 proc is really bad. So let's go and compare here against some other characters in Mephisto world boss. And in Mephisto I want to check here out with uh, my boy Falcon because Falcon is one of the best characters for this world boss and where is she? yes she's here okay let's go and take these two guys here and we're gonna use this team just to be sure that we're gonna stay alive you know with all this fire resist because we don't really need to run around and avoid all these fires Mephisto can burn you out really fast if you are not you know super careful so let's go you need to go really close as I said and yes the proc is there and even with 140 proc you can see here doing a lot of damage of course we can't understand the damage in the first phase but uh, I feel like she gonna give him like 40 seconds until he she gonna push him into the next phase and the best way to do the fourth skill is you know using it when it's ready so you don't need to oh my god i was away a bit but away and i took the proc i'm not using my first and second skill at all because you don't you know what you don't want to uh, enrage him faster and as many hits you're doing he is getting enraged faster and faster let's try to push it okay you saw it there, I waste my awaken, See, he was ready, he was ready to go to the next phase and I waste my awaken, I was thinking about that but you know what, if, you, if I wasn't able to push him and I wasn't using the awaken, all the damage could be wasted there, so but it doesn't matter. You see there, I'm not careful at all, I'm getting myself into the fires because I, I have the fire resist I have from the strikers that's why I'm not really using damage strikers in Mephisto and I'm using fire to be sure and alive <laughs> and I push him into the next phase and it's only 1 minute and 30 seconds into this phase yes that's really fast and then raids popped up there because there is a lot of hits of uh, silk into the awaken skill and he's pushing She's pushing him into the rage phase. Real oh, I skipped the fourth skill there. I'm not sure why, but I did. Let's push it into the next. And yes, you can, you know, swap your rotations here and there if you are sure that you're gonna proc on a skill. Here, I'm sure I'm gonna proc on the fifth skill. So, doesn't matter if I do. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm no, 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 no. Oh, yes. So it was like two minutes clear, yes, and this battery thing make me go slower, but 10 seconds is the most out of it. I did a two minute clear with here, but uh, it's only the last phase, so in the last phase I'm okay with two minutes left. So if I put some supports, she gonna do it in one minute and 30 seconds, so she's really good, she's really good in my book at least let's go and see the difference between the best speed type and here i mean there is rog also but rog isn't isn't better than falcon i guess isn't better than silk also but i haven't here to compare here to see falcon got a ctp of energy so it's kind of unfair but uh, you know i give him with the ctp of energy like 20 seconds more I feel like 20 seconds it's fair enough so if he is able to do it like in two minutes and two seconds left I mean three minutes and two seconds left uh, 20 seconds left he's gonna be in the same level in my book 
let's go and check him here let's go and do that and yes I'm doing the same with him also you know I'm pressing only the skills that uh, got value for his proking system and stuff and I'm not wasting my time spending with uh, one two oh <laughs> it was only a tier 3 there enough to push him into the next phase that's 20 seconds faster already in the start also and you have to know that I've played a lot with uh, Mr. Falcon and in Silk, with Silk, it's my first time I'm playing the game. <laughs> oh my god, Falcon is real good. <laughs> How this video went up as a showcase for Falcon, I'm not sure, but uh, you know what? Falcon is a beast, bro. You should build him if you don't have him. But you can see there, I got, I had two enrage stages with uh, two enrage faces with my girl Silk. And with him, it's like, you know, day and night. I didn't took an enrage effect, cause I only use three cancel four, cancel five, and cancel six with him. So Silk is worse than Falcon, but uh, she's really good. I mean, she's really good. I can compare her with Gwenpool, but doesn't really matter. She's way better than Gwenmom and less better than Falcon. She's not in the same level with Falcon and she worth to be in your roster? Yes, for me it's a yes cause he got some tags that it's really, really, uh, you know, agility tag and spider-verse tag. That's really important for world boss legend clears, at least agility. agility. You need it for world boss challenge stage 30, I think, in Mephisto. So in the future, you're gonna need here. And she is a really nice and proc friendly character. I'm going to show you more from um, here, but at the moment, I don't have here, you know, a CTP of energy or something. So it's just for the proc friendly showcase. She is like behind Falcon, but uh, she's close to him and she's way better than Gwenom. Uh, generally, there is no a, a lot of characters like uh, speed type. You can check them here. You know, Quicksilver. He's really good. I feel like she's in the same level of Quicksilver, but she's more proc friendly and she's easier to play. For me, the speed meta is like Falcon first, Luna after, and here or Quicksilver. I feel like all the other characters are falling behind in damage. Corvus, it's really good with the CTP of energy also, but uh, I feel like Falcon is the best at the moment. Luna, it's the best for ABX at least. So Luna, Quicksilver and Silk, it's at the second place. Each one is better for different, you know, game modes. feel like Quicksilver is really good for PvP too. And she is really beast for World Boss Legend, and Luna is good for ABX. So that's for me. I'm out, and she is really nice, guys. I'm gonna skip all the armor, guys. You know, Hulkbuster and Rescue at the moment, but I couldn't skip here. I love Spider Verse characters, and I love here also with the summer uniform. See you in the next. I hope I help you decide if you're gonna build. Thank you for being here, guys. See you in the next video. Bye bye to everyone.